Hey everyone, it's Karina from saltwaterfix.com. Today's surf travel tip is about your surf vehicle, which is usually an area we don't often think that much about. I do have four topics that you should consider when renting a surf vehicle for an out-of-town surf trip. So first and foremost, you should find out how the vehicle is powered. So is it four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, two-wheel drive? Um, I think most of us know that some of the best spots are usually off the beaten path um, and require either all or four wheel drive. So finding out if whatever vehicle you're renting has that is imperative. The second is what is the car's uh, roof rack system? So sometimes you'll see in pictures that a car has a roof rack, but it's a little bit difficult to make out what type of roof rack. So finding out what the clearance is on the roof rack, how much space there is between the rack and the top of the vehicle um, will allow you to figure out if you need to bring soft racks or tie downs, um, both of them, or maybe just one. And so communicating with the rental car company or whoever you're renting from and finding that out is really good to know. Third, I always ask if I am able to obtain a valet key. So a single key that I can tie around um, my bathing suit or just hold in my wetsuit so that um, I'm not having to mess around with having a fob that's in the car and I can't lock in and the car has to stay open or whatever the case may be. So I always request getting the valet key because it's also um, much easier to make a copy of and is cheaper if you, if anything happens versus like a key fob. So ask for that valet key if they have one. And then finally, and this is mostly probably for short borders. Oh no, I guess for long borders as well, if it's a larger vehicle, but find out how the interior of the car works like with the seats. So how far are the, all the seats able to go flat so that you can store the boards in your car if you want to go do something and not leave them on the roof. Um, I always like to find out what the space is in the car. One of the um, companies that I've been using for car rentals for surf trips lately is Turo. So T-U-R-O. Um, it's honest, it's kind of like an uh, Airbnb for cars. So I've noticed that in some of the places I've gone, specifically Hawaii, um, the people I've rented from are surfers themselves. So they already have a great setup versus some of the rental car companies. So you may want to check that out for your next trip as well. So I hope that helps and I hope I see you on the water soon. Take care.